welcome to my channel. I'm Innocent My Own, and today I'll be sharing with you guys a 45 day full mind and body detox. This detox does not include any laxatives, fasting, any starvation, any dietaries, any flat tummy teas. It's all natural, vitamins are optional. Um, I say detox, but it honestly can be a lifestyle. If you're interested, keep watching. They wanna meet on Tuesday, asking me to fix me up real nice. She can wait until the weekend, she wants off the tape. If you watch my last YouTube video, you know recently I had a bad experience with a IUD and I decided to go on a 45 day detox just to regulate my body, regulate my mind, because being on birth control of any sort, especially if it's hormonal, it will affect you in one way or another. Mine, unfortunately, ended up giving me headaches. Uh, I was a little depressed being on it. I gained weight, my skin broke out. So I decided to do a full body detox. When it comes to detoxing the mind, social media, social media, I cannot say it enough. Social media is not real. I know this, I'm pretty sure you know this, and I'm not gonna bash social media because I honestly love it. Um, there are platforms where you can market yourself, you can learn. I will find myself on social media just aimlessly scrolling, uh, going from Snapchat to Instagram to Facebook, back to like that same cycle of just randomly scrolling and not really getting a lot accomplished. So for starters, I decided to limit my social media. Notice I didn't say, you know, I'm just gonna go dark and delete all my social media. I've tried that. It doesn't work for a number of reasons, mainly because I use my social media to promote myself, to promote my YouTube channel, to promote my website, to promote my hair page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you know, my Instagram handles will be in the description box. But like I said, I will be limiting my social media to promotional use only for the next 45 days. Don't watch a lot of TV in this house. So fortunately, that's something I don't have to worry about. I'm on my laptop a lot, but like I said, it's for business, so I'll stick to that. I've dedicated myself to read at least two books in the next 45 days. If not, I will be picking a topic. I haven't decided what yet and expanding my knowledge either on something new or something I'm already familiar with. I will get back to you guys on that one. Y'all don't know a lot about me. I am way, 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 way past due on a get to know me q a but i promise y'all it's coming like i have the questions i am going to do it like i'm gonna let you guys get to know me that way i don't have to throw all these little disclaimers in my video full-time students so my head's gonna be in the books my head will be in the books i won't be watching tv social media will be for business use only and i will be picking a topic and learning something about it or expanding my knowledge on it so that's going to go for detoxing my mind. I will get back into meditation. I don't really meditate as often as I'd like to, but that'll be another thing. I'm gonna wake up early to meditate. I'll try not to lay in a bed and do it because nine times out of 10, I'm gonna end up falling back asleep. That's my favorite meditation, sleep. And that leads me to my next thing as far as detoxing my mind. It goes hand in hand with detoxing your body. So I will be prioritizing my sleep. I'll be getting at least eight hours, but you know, I gotta get up early for the gym. So I'll be prioritizing my sleep, no phones in bed. I have a bad habit of having my phone in the bed because I use my phone as my alarm and the closer it is to me, the easier it is for me to hear it. Also, the easier it is for me to snooze it, but it's just a bad habit of having my phone in the bed. So I won't have my phone in the bed. There won't be any scrolling through social media or booking appointments or anything like that an hour prior to going to bed so prior to going to bed it will be wind down time so on to detox in my body for starters i will be limiting red meat and chicken i'll be headed more so towards a pescatarian diet i will be limiting dairy as well i'll probably just eliminate dairy because it's not really my go-to and the benefits of that will be to reduce inflammation both of my jobs they require me to be on my feet i do hair and sometimes i'm standing for up to seven hours i'm constantly moving my hands so my wrists do swell and my feet and my ankles swell 
Um, due to me standing up so much, I am a child and youth services program assistant. So I am constantly on my feet all day. Like no matter which job I'm doing, I'm up, I'm walking around and I have been experiencing inflammation. And that leads me to my next point. I know that is due to salt retention and you know too much sodium in my diet. And that's another reason that I decided to limit my red meat and my chicken. I honestly don't like the way either of them taste naturally. Um, most people don't. I wouldn't just throw a steak on a grill and not season it or marinate it and then eat it because I don't like how it tastes. Same with chicken. You're gonna season your food to get it to taste how you want it to taste. And I don't use salt when I season my food, but a lot of spices have salt in them. So my meats are usually very high in sodium. So that's another reason I'll be eliminating those or limiting those to zero to one time a week. Reducing red meat also promotes gut health and digestion. Meat is hard on your body to digest naturally. So it's like if your food isn't digesting and you got like a whole bunch of buildup or you know, you're getting constipated constantly, you're gonna hold on to weight. Like you're sticking to a mainly pescatarian diet, which will consist of, you know, fish and shellfish. Um, it'll reduce my consumption of fatty meats, although salmon is a fatty fish. I will be eating salmon, tilapia, crab, shrimp, tuna steak, tuna. I'm not trying to be protein deficient, so I will be substituting with protein shakes. I usually drink protein shakes anyway, but I'll probably be adding, you know, a couple more to my diet. Like I mentioned earlier about dairy, I will be eliminating food that create mucus in a body. So that would be, like I said, dairy, your cheeses, your yogurts, bread as well, milk, butter. Uh, I already don't drink whole milk. I'll use whole milk when I'm cooking and a recipe requires milk uh, because I realized that almond milk, it, it really just does not do the job. It throws the taste off tremendously. So I won't be cooking things that require me to use whole milk. And when it comes to drinking milk, I'll just stick to almond milk like I've been doing. And I'll be eating a lot of food that reduce mucus in the body. So that's gonna be your grapefruits, your pumpkin seeds, um, pineapples, watermelon, cantaloupe celery, cucumber, lemon, instead of cooking with butter, using olive oil are things that uh, typically I do for the most part, but I'm just going to like really buckle down on them because I slip up a lot. Another major thing <laughs> when it comes to detoxing my body is definitely having that IUD removed and that's already done. So we are gonna move on. I'm gonna focus on my water intake, you know, a gallon plus a day. I'm gonna be getting my self-care in. I do self-care as often as possible. I don't prioritize it as much as I should because I consider now like manicures and pedicures, I, I don't really consider that self-care anymore. I kind of consider that routine maintenance at this point. And I feel like all self-care should be routine maintenance but I am gonna be implementing two massages a month to my self-care routine or my full body detox routine because when you get a massage, that helps dissolve and eliminate toxin uh, buildup in your tissue. Those toxins are released into your bloodstream and they're carried out via excretion. So when you pee or you poop, you're releasing those toxins that were broken down via massage. So that's another reason um, that you need to focus on or that I'll, look at me telling, I'm telling y'all what y'all need to be doing, but this is what I'm going to do. You guys can do it with me if you like. I would appreciate that, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna focus on my water intake so that those toxins are pushed out of my body a lot faster and I'm not getting headaches. Have you ever got a massage and you ended up like feeling really bad after? That's because you were probably dehydrated and those toxins that were released in your bloodstream really didn't have a way to be excreted because you weren't drinking water. That's pretty much going to be it for my full mind and body detox. It sounds like simple stuff, but you really have to challenge yourself and stay dedicated. That way you're not constantly having to start over and calling it a detox instead of doing these things consistently and making it a lifestyle. Yeah, for the next 45 days, I will be focusing on using my social media for business and promotional uh, purposes. I'll be in the gym, I'll be focusing on my water intake, my diet, 
uh, eliminating foods that cause mucus and replacing them with foods that reduce mucus, eliminating red meat and chicken for the sake of my cholesterol and my gut health, like simple things like that make a huge difference. And if you don't believe me, give it 30 days. Give it 30 days, try it. Um, let me know if you decide to try it. Keep me updated if you do it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I will be posting updates. I forgot to tell you guys the last thing. I'm pretty sure I mentioned gaining weight, uh, being on my birth control. I am currently at 156 pounds. The goal will be one... 140 to 145. So that's another thing I'm going to keep y'all updated on. Just stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to hear from you guys. I hope you decide to join in on this. Let me know. Drop a comment down below.